Hello guys. So if you want to know how my Nigerian parents reacted to the news that I was getting married to an African American, you gotta stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Divine and of course this is a classic woman. And yes, that's my daughter at the background. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, when I met my husband, just to put this out there, I have been to America a couple of times, so it's not like, oh, my husband was the first American I had ever interacted with. No, I had been here for holidaying and all that. But when my husband was introduced to me, I was in Nigeria at the time. And truly, of course, I had never dated an American or anybody that outside of my ethnicity, um, outside of Nigeria, really. So it, yeah, when, when he was introduced to me, I was like, hmm, you know, I don't, I don't know about this. And the reason being that Nigerians are not so quick to marry outside of our culture, outside of our um, tribe even, you know. They're, okay, for my American friends, there are three major tribes in Nigeria. So there's the um, Igbo, Yoruba, and also tribe, right? And most times you see tribal conflict and so um, you don't really see Nigerians marrying, you know, outside of their tribes and all that. But it does happen, of course. But um, like in my tribe, if you marry outside of your uh, village, even people would say, oh, you married too far. Why didn't you marry closer to home? So now this is me um, about to tell my parents that I'm about to be engaged to this man who is not even Nigerian. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, so um, I, 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 you know, it, 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 yeah, it seemed like a lot at the time, but um, uh, yeah, it, you, know, it, 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 you know, it was a process, is, is all I'm trying to say. So my husband was introduced to me by a cousin, and uh, apparently my husband and her husband now were working in the same organization, and she had seen him, and she was like, she felt that, oh, this could be good for me. You know, and when she told me where he was from, I was like, yeah, I don't think so, <laughs> you know? But at the same time, I was kind of open. Maybe it's because I had traveled out of the country before, I don't know. But I was kind of open to the idea of, hmm, let's see, maybe this might be it, you know? Maybe this might be my knight in shining armor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, uh, we gave it a, a shot and um, it worked out in the sense that we dated and he was going to propose and all that. And here I am thinking, oh my God, like how am I gonna tell my dad? And mind you, my dad is a chief from where I'm from. He is very, he's a traditional man. He is not like, oh, you know, just, you know, regular. No, he is a traditional man. And one would expect, especially being his first child. Yes, I am his first child. Would expect that, oh, I would marry from my tribe, from the Igbo tribe. And if you must know, <laughs> the fact that you marry from an Igbo tribe doesn't even, you, you, you're going to marry from an Igbo tribe doesn't mean it will be accepted because your tribes in the, uh, in, in, um, from where I'm from, right? That don't, that feel like, how like with this now? Like in the Igbo tribe, right? There are tribes that don't even mingle, you know? So... You say, oh, you're from here and you're going to marry from here. You know, you get things like, oh, God forbid, never. You know, like you cannot marry from this evil tribe. And you're evil. <laughs> so <laughs> imagine coming to say, oh, um, dad, I, um, I'm getting married. And, and he's like, oh, where's he from? First of all, he's not evil. Second of all, he's not from Nigeria. It's like, wait, 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 wait. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that is how serious it can be. There are engagements um, that have been called off just because of stuff like this. Um, relationships that have had to end because of tribal conflict. You know, oh, she's Yoruba and she's Igbo, he's Igbo, so they can't marry. Oh, they're Igbo, but apparently, uh, tribes cannot marry yeah it's like that so here I'm coming with like oh I want I'm in love with this dude I want to get married and um, he's not Nigerian yeah 
Stay tuned if you want to know how my dad reacted to the news. Come <laughs> back, guys. What? So, um, when myself and my husband, when we were dating, my dad had no clue, right? He had no clue because my dad is really traditional. And I always told myself that any man I'm going to introduce to my dad is the man that I'm eventually going to marry. My mom had an idea, like, oh, she has somebody, but, you know, not like she knew like who he was and where he was from but she knew that oh okay she she got somebody in her life you know that's good and it's gone on for a year plus okay that's you know that's something you know maybe once in a while she would ask me oh how is uh, this you know how is he doing you know and all that and i'll be like oh he's fine so come to the time when my husband was like hey let's do this you know um i'm ready to take this to the next level let's get married <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay, how am I gonna communicate this to my parents? You know, um, okay, I said, you know what, it, it has to be done. This is the man of my dreams, and um, hey, I love him, and it is what it is. So, I call up my mom, I tell her, hey mommy, so you know that guy that I have been dating? He's not Nigerian, this is where he's from, you know, and there was this pause on the phone and you know, everybody was like <gasps> hey. <laughs> And uh, hey, but guess what? My mom was like, hey, if you know, this is where you have found love, it is, it is what it is um, And she was very receptive, you know, and I was like, oh, thank God, <laughs> you know So now I'm thinking, how am I going to approach my dad? Who is this traditional man? Who is this? Yeah, who is this dude that is so like into culture and as his first child, yes, I am my father's first child. How am I going to communicate to him that I'm about to marry somebody that my father would regard as a stranger, you know? So, yep, it is what it is. I said, you know what? I'm going to have to call him up and I'm going to have to tell him. Of course, <laughs> I had no other choice. So come the time when I'm supposed to call him and um, I pick up the phone because my dad at the time, you know, he was not in the city. He lives in the, in our village. So I pick up the phone, I call him, I say, hey dad, um, so it's happened. I'm, <laughs> I'm about to be engaged. And he's like, oh, you know, where is he from? Girl. If you know, if you want to know what happened, stay tuned. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So, um, yeah, my dad, yeah, I said I was talking to my dad, right? So yeah, he says, okay, where is he from? And I tell him, I say, daddy, he is not Nigerian. And you know, there's silence on the phone. And I'm like, he is American, he's African American. And he was like, yeah, it was that silent. And he was like, well, if this is uh, it, then um, I'm happy for you. <laughs> now, this is the reaction that I was not expecting. No, this is, I wasn't expecting this reaction at all. He took it pretty well. And let me just say that I got married at the very ripe age of 35. So I think <laughs> if I had brought an alien to my dad at this point, he probably would have been like, you know what? Mm, yeah. <laughs> so he had been expecting this. He had been hoping for this, for me to bring a man home and be like, yeah, you know, this is the one. Um, so is that the reason why my dad felt that, oh, you know, it, it doesn't really matter? Probably. I never really asked him though. Um, but he was very rece receptive of the fact that I was marrying outside of our nationality. <laughs> so yeah, um, there are a lot of, uh, um, I'm, I'm one of the blessed ones because I've heard of uh, a Nigerian uh, couples who have, uh, Nigerian couples who have met foreigners and wanted to marry them and their parents disowned them actually. Yes, their parents disowned them. But I was lucky and fortunate, blessed and fortunate to have parents who uh, understood and were ready to support me with marrying 
an African American. So yay, yay for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's all for now. Please click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you can get notified when I do post uh, stuff and um, yeah, more to come. Thank you for watching. Bye.